Well, good morning and welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. Uh, I'm coming to you from a different place today. Uh, I have uh, changed offices. Uh, for those of you who watch who are not members of First Baptist Church, Texas City, where I pastor, uh, for the last several years we have been repurposing a uh, uh, former Dillard's at the mall. And uh, this past week we just got occupancy and so we can move in the whole place. And so uh, uh, yesterday we started moving offices. I uh, started moving my office. As you can see, I've got some bookshelves and books going on. But uh, truthfully, if you saw the rest of it, it's a mess. I haven't gotten the rest of it done. But we're excited about being in our new offices. And this is the very first thing I've done spiritually uh, in my new office. Uh, it's been a coffee with the pastor. Haven't had a chance to study for a sermon or anything else in here, but I'm going to do my uh, coffee with the pastor this morning here. Now, if you remember, we're looking at Ephesians chapter 6, and uh, you're putting on the full armor of God. And we began with the uh, uh, belt of truth, and then the breastplate of righteousness, and our feet were fitted for the gospel of peace. We had the shield of faith. Uh, we had the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Lord. And we're all ready to go. And if you remember, uh, Paul has told us that we're in a spiritual battle. We're in a spiritual war. And that our enemies is Satan and his principalities and his powers and his dominions. And we're in a battle. And he says, but you don't have to fight this battle in your own power. But God's going to give you power. You fight it in God's power. And he's given you a suit of armor. And he uses the imagery of a Roman soldier, uh, suit of armor, that they were issued. Uh, as believers, we're issued our suit of armor. But uh, in verse 18, we talk about, now we're, we're dressed for battle, now it's time to go to battle. In verse 18, it says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Now, I have to be honest with you. When I first read this, I was a little disappointed. I'm thinking, okay, here we are. Girded up with truth. Breastplate. Got my feet shod ready to stand. and I've got the shield of faith to get the fiery darts of the, of the Satan. I've got my helmet of salvation. I've got my sword of the Lord. I'm ready to go. And Paul says, and pray in the Spirit. Uh, excuse me, because I kind of was raised on preaching where guys would get you all revved up where you'd want to charge hell with a water pistol. What Paul says is that you get all ready for battle, and your battleground is prayer. Our war, spiritually, is fought in prayer. Now, this is... Uh, Amazing. But you win your battles in prayer. Your war against Satan is fought in prayer. It's won or lost in prayer. That's amazing to me. Today, you're in a battle, and your battleground is prayer. And if you've ever tried praying for very long, you know it is a battleground. First of all, Satan's going to try and distract you from all kinds of things and keep you from praying. Secondly, he's, he's going to say, well, you're too busy to pray. I find that interesting today. People are too busy to come to church. They're too busy to pray. They're too busy to read their Bibles. Uh, we're too busy if that's the case. Uh, every Christian believer needs to have some significant time in prayer every day. And it needs to be undistracted. We need to be focused upon God. I like Martin Luther, the great Protestant Reformation guy. And he had a day, and he wrote in his diary, he says, I'm so busy today, I'm going to spend an extra hour in prayer. And I already spent two hours every morning in prayer. And his solution was, if he was really busy, and he had a really busy day, he'd wake up an hour early and pray an extra hour. But that needs to be kind of our attitude. We need to realize that we win our spiritual battles 
in prayer. We don't win them in politics. We don't win them by just doing good things. We, do, we win our spiritual battles in prayer. So today, I hope that when you go to prayer, you realize that's pretty significant because you have a whole host of demonic evil things trying to keep you from praying because that's where you can really affect the kingdom of God. So today, I encourage you to spend a good time in prayer and to always remember that your prayer closet, your prayer time, wherever you pray, is your battleground. So love and prayers to you today and uh, hope you have a great day. I'll see you next week.